Hey guys, it's Don Duran with NSI Solutions. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to assemble your seam phantom. This is... <laughs> hey guys, this is Don Duran with NSI Solutions. We're doing a quick video today to show you how to assemble your sink bowl. A sink bowl is the tool we use to shape sinks to uh, templates. Um, we've done a lot of other videos on this so you can see how it works, but today we're going to do an unboxing and an assembly video. So first for the sink bowl, you need a Makita GA 7021 7-inch grinder. It's available all over the U.S. If you're not in the US, there are some other compatible Makita model numbers and you can find those on our website. The tools you'll need is a 22 millimeter wrench, a 5 8 wrench or a crescent wrench for these, a five millimeter Allen, a 1 8 inch Allen wrench, and then some tools to open up packaging. This is a 1 8 inch Allen wrench just in a driver to speed some things up. In the box, we've set this box up for shipping and done everything but tape it closed. Um, you get, besides the sink bowl, you get the three inch Rapid Z cut. You get a three inch Rapid Z drum, a fine grit. And a three inch Rapid Z drum coarse grit. You also get a box marked carriage, and these are all referenced in the instructions. You got your carriage assembly, and a box marked handle, hardware, and accessories. So inside this, you get an Angel Guard cord connect, a GFCI adapter, your handles, spray shield, and your miscellaneous hardware. You get some written instructions if you haven't had a chance to watch this video. And then the star of the show here is the actual sink bowl. All right, to get started, let's open up the packages here. This is your spray shield. Those are some big bolts that go on the side of the grinder. Some for the face, a couple washers. And your handles, we might as well open those up. Okay, so to get started putting this together, let's take our grinder. We'll move some of this out of the way to make sure we can see here. Take off the side handle. You don't need the side handle yet, but we will use it. Five millimeter Allen wrench. Let's take the screws out of the face. Now, you'll want to save these for future use if you should happen to take the grinder off of the sink bowl and want to use it again as a grinder. Okay, now take your carriage and remove the black handle in the washer. And you want to make sure the bolts in and the head is in the pocket. And then you just drop this over the grinder. You might have to push it down a bit, but it'll sit right down there. And then these new bolts, washers, and the grit shield you'll use to install the carriage. Now the grit shield 
goes down here next to the body and helps keep water from spraying up into the grinder. Again, five millimeter Allen wrench. You don't need any washers with the grit shield because you're using the grit shield as the wa a washer. On these two other screws, use the washers provided. Now on the side holes, we have some larger screws and washers. Get those started. Okay, once everything's started, you can tighten these on the face. Again, the five millimeter Allen. A 22 millimeter wrench. Okay, that part's ready to go. Now on your sink bowl, on the base, this just slides through the slot here. Put your large washer back on and your black handle. Hold that up. Now this black handle is adjustable. If you pull out on the handle while you're pushing in on the center, you can move it wherever you want to keep it. For a right-handed person, I like it about right there. And this is easy height adjustment, bulletproof height adjustment. We can put our handles on. They just thread in 5 8 wrench or crescent wrench. take the side handle from the grinder and put it in the hole right here. That gives you a convenient place to lift it with. And there is one P-clip right here that you can use to manage your cord. That's what the eighth inch Allen wrench is for. I also have an eighth inch Allen wrench and a driver I'm going to use just for speed. Okay, so you have your external water feed here, just off and on. There's a spray nozzle in here that when you first start using it and put your bits on, you're gonna to wanna to direct that to spray on the bits. Uh, once you get it set, you usually don't have to adjust it much unless you, you bang it or bump it with something. You have your height adjustment right here. It's essentially a bulletproof height adjustment. Um, very simple to use. Let me come around the front and show you how the bits fit. It is a 5 8 11 thread. They should thread right on. There's a lock button on the grinder here. I'll try and do this so that the camera can see. There we go. Not enough hands. Pull that out so the bit's hanging off the edge. When you have that setting on your stone with your template, then you'll want to adjust the height 
so that the, the blades are cutting the stone and the bearings riding on the template. Now, the secret to the Rapid Z line of bits is they are all the same height. I should say one of the secrets. They are all the same height. So when you have it rough cut, you rough grind it with the Rapid Z cut, you switch straight out to the coarse three inch drum, grind it again, then the fine three inch drum. You can see that the bearing height from the mounting surface is all the same. So once you get the height set, you never have to change it as long as you don't change the thickness of your template. We sell one inch drums also, they do not come in the kit, but they are also the same height. And this is what we use to do the half inch inside radiuses on rectangular sinks. Um, if it's a true rectangle, we'll saw it out and just clean the corners out with that. If it's a rectangle with like slightly curved sides, We'll do the whole process where we grind it with the Rapid Z cut, three inch drums, and then just come back and clean out the corners with the one inch drums. The diameters are sized to be used in series. The coarse drum will always clean up the lines from the Rapid Z cut. The fine drums will always clean up the line, lines left by the coarse drum in all the sizes. And then from the fine grit, it's a simple matter to polish it up by hand. Um, another, uh, another simple trick is once, if, if for instance you always use 5 8 plywood templates, once you get the height set, come inside here and scratch or mark a line. And that way, if say you have one oddball half inch template and you have to adjust, adjust the height, then the next time it's a very simple matter to just go back, match the line, and lock it again. Anyway, that is the sink bowl unboxing and assembly. Uh, hopefully this was helpful, answer some questions. Stay well, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Got another one? Somewhere. Got one. I got it, I got it. Okay.